The Colonial Theater in Belfast is up for sale. The historic theater is listed on Worth Real Estate LLC for $1.3 million. It shut down last September. The building's current owners actually say the theater officially opened its doors on the same day the Titanic set sail. The theater has two movie screens and one stage. The listing calls the sale a once in a lifetime opportunity to own a piece of history. It also says the theater has a loyal and passionate following, including a guy with national fame. Hello, my name is John Hodgman. I am an author, uh, a comedian, an actor, uh, a sometimes main resident. Uh, there's my, uh, my moxie poster behind me, that's proof. Here's my enormous microphone. That, as you probably surmise, is comedian and actor John Hodgman. He's been on shows like The Tick and Poker Face, and now he's putting his support behind the effort to save the Colonial Theater. Hodgman says he saw a similar thing happen to his hometown theater in Massachusetts and says that saving theaters is worth it. Going out to the movies is really, really good. It's a really good thing to do, especially a small independent movie theater at the center of your downtown. Movies, wherever you see them, make our world bigger. But theaters like the Colonial draw our communities closer together at the same time. John Hodgman also talked about the Save Our Theater Committee, which formed in Belfast this spring. The group is raising money to turn the Art Deco Theater into a nonprofit. Hodgman says that not only is this idea good for the character of the town, but he jested there could be dire consequences if it goes away for good. If the Colonial disappears, if this beautiful building goes away, the elephant on the roof is going to fall down and then it will come to life and it will be very, very angry. And I don't wanna be responsible for that. So thank you for your time and kind attention. I hope you will join me in helping to save the Colonial Theater. That elephant he was just talking about, by the way, was up there because the building's former owner, Mike Hurley, runs a business called Fiberglass Farms. He sources fiberglass figures for all sorts of needs. Most of them are animals, but he helped produce a life-size bobblehead of former Los Angeles Dodgers manager Tommy Lasorda. Hurley told our Caroline Cornish back in 2014 that these things are pretty regularly the victims of theft. What could be more attractive? And in fact, you know, you were talking about the cow that got stolen. Uh, this happens all the time. I don't care. Every one of these art events uh, that has bears or cows or, you know, if you put a big fiberglass ice cream cone out in front of your ice cream stand, somebody's going to steal it. Take the beach birds in Ocean City, Maryland. The first night, a guy took one of these and like it was fastened down and he just like, you know, twisted it until it broke off, him and his buddies, and then they found him sitting drunk on his porch with the bird. <laughs> like, not hiding it or anything, just saying, hey, I've got a bird here. Hurley even had his own bunnies stolen by some local teenagers. Uh, we would get like surreptitious uh, pictures sent to us of him participating in teenage parties and uh, he was all signed up and everything.